prime time, baby. Big time win, 24-18. Cincinnati beats Buffalo in a pretty good game. I would say overall, obviously, second half offense. We'll talk a little bit more about in a second. But overall, great win. This defense is very opportunistic. Forced two turnovers in this game. Uh, one was an early pick. We didn't get no points on it, which kind of sucked. That would have opened up the game more, I thought, uh, for us. And then the fumble, right? They were going in. They're down 24-10. You know, Jermaine Pratt, as he always does. I don't know what it is with Jermaine Pratt, man. But every time it's a big game, every time it's a moment when we need him, he just comes up big, man, with either a, a pick, a fumble. I mean, this guy just always has a nose for the football and knows how to create big plays. Y'all can go look at his resume. He's built one now. Big win, uh, uh, I think, uh, in 2022 when he beat um, – they beat the Chiefs at home in a big-time game. He strips the ball loose from Travis Kelsey. Kelsey gives us the ball back. Last week, he goes and gets the big pick in the red zone against San Fran, gives us the ball back. We go in a big drive, win the game. This game, we're up 24-10. He gets the big-time, or 21-10, gets the big-time uh, strip, gets us back the ball. We go down, we get a field goal. He's always come up big-time. But let's look a little bit further. Again, man, I mean, great game from Burrow. I mean, efficient. Again, we gotta figure out the running game. Um, they did. They did run it a little bit more. Like I said, my 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 marker now. I know we a big pass offense. About twelve to fifteen touches carries a game for Mixon. I'm pretty satisfied. That average is not gonna cut it though. Two point six only a touchdown. But Mixon got that big run when we needed it most. Third and three. Knew he was gonna run it. Made Von Miller miss and got vertical. Got the first down. End of the game. That was huge. He always comes up big in big moments too. Mixon does. But overall, great game for Burrow, man. Almost 350 yards passing. Two touchdowns. He was pretty efficient in this game. Missed on a couple of throws. But overall, man, I mean, you can't play it really no better. He had a phenomenal game. All right. Now I'm going to talk about the receiving uh, game. Man, this was such a good game. Just overall, obviously, Chase didn't have his best game. But you know, he went down. That was a, you know, underthrown deep ball by Burrow. Probably his worst throw the whole night. If he hits him in stride, that's a touchdown. So I hope he's all right. You can see the pain kind of on his face. So I hope Chase is okay. They're going to have to put him on a heated pad. Chris Collinsworth brought up a great point. He's probably going to be real sore and wakes up, uh, wakes up out of the bed tomorrow. Got to have to get some cryotherapy. That's going to be important for him. But great game for T. Higgins, man. He came out clutch with these catches. Eight catches, 110 yards. He was getting them, converting big big first downs, getting, you know, second and ones, uh, second and twos, big time gains on like third down. T. Higgins was very valuable tonight, and he showed that he is a great weapon in our offense. I hope we're able to keep him coming this offseason. He's a valuable weapon to the offense. Tyler Boyd had that big uh, first down catch right when Buffalo had the momentum. They go play action, calls Lester. They protect all the way to the left. He hits him in stride. Tyler Boyd turns a big game. That was huge. I got to give a shout-out, though, to the tight ends. Three catches, 26 yards. The touchdown is not going to impress you. Tanner Hudson, four catches, 45 yards. The stats aren't impressive, but what is impressive is that's the needed piece, I think, in this offense, right? I always say, as I mentioned, we got to get the ground game going. But if you got those tight ends performing in that kind of a fashion and they're able to get those, those key pit critical third downs and they're able to convert and kind of be a safety blanket, right? A lot of times you saw they were using the chase screen, kind of disguising that. And Tanner Hubson will come up big. I'm so happy. When I say, guys, I'm so happy to see him called up. And now he's a big part of our offense. I love it, man. He's going to be a critical piece for us. I think going forward, we should sign him after the season's over. Whatever his contract is, he was so pivotal in this game for us. And he's a great added weapon and a safety blanket bro can depend on when his receivers are covered. Now, defensively, obviously, you see the stats for them. They did such a marvelous job. Look at this stat line, guys. Josh Allen was their leading rusher, eight carries for 44 yards. Their main back, James Cook, had six carries for 20 yards. That goes to show you our run defense was so good. That's been a struggle for us all season long, the run defense. They did much, much better in this game. I'll take this stat line all day long. Looks like only about 68 yards rushing. They were phenomenal. Josh Allen was their best rusher. Great. They also forced him into an interception. He did throw for 258 yards, but look how many attempts he had. 38 attempts. You know what I'm saying? So I'll live with that 258 yards and touchdown. Came towards the end. Again, we had a 24-10 lead. Pretty comfortable. They get the touchdown, their best player against our rookie corner from Michigan, DJ Turner, Stephon Diggs. You live with it, man. We dealt with some injuries in this game. Obviously, you know, Kemp Taylor was a little banged up. Um, you know, Chase is a little banged up. But you'll take this effort all day. I thought defense were phenomenal. Like I said, only um, they had two um, turnovers in this game. One was a pivotal down in the red zone. And the other one was an interception. So phenomenal game overall. 
Yeah, so my last point to wrap up, man. We need this game, man. Our division is is, is crazy right now. You go look at the AFC North, 7-2 Baltimore, 5-3 and three Pittsburgh, 5-3 and three, uh, Cleveland, and now us at 5-3. and three. So we needed this game. Our first win against the AFC had a lot on the line in this game. So they did what they needed to do. They controlled the game for most of it. I just would like to see the run game get a little bit better, a little bit more balanced. But like I said, as long as Mixon can get about 12 to 15 touches uh, a game, I feel pretty good with that. I just want him to touch the ball. But I like the play creativity by Zach Taylor and Brian Callahan. Offense looks better. Burrow's healthy. He's able to get the ball out. We'll see what, what's up with Chase. But overall, man, it's a great win. It'll take that all day, man. Five and three and big time game this Sunday coming up against Houston.